Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. I want to thank the Sharks for uh, being in the Stanley Cup Finals because now the beard, I just look like I'm a cool dude. Um, but honestly, I just don't have time to shave these days. Uh, anyways, I know it's been a while. Uh, I wanted to jump in and talk to you about uh, this sample right here that I got from the folks at Rias Bicious Wines. Um, Rias Bicious is a region of Spain. It's in the northwest uh, pocket there, like right above Portugal. Uh, and they're along the Atlantic Ocean. They make some of the most iconic, the most classic uh, Albareño uh, based wines, um, typically 100% Albareño, including this bad boy right here. I tasted another one of their samples uh, a couple weeks back on the We Like Drinking podcast, which with uh, my friends that we release every uh, Friday on iTunes. You should definitely check that out. And I'll put a link down below to that Rias Vicious uh, tasting. We were all doing uh, Albareños, and that was kind of a really fun exploration. But I thought I'd dive into this one right here. This is the uh, 2012 Trico. Uh, this is 100% Albareño. It's from the Condado Dote uh, region of the Rias Vicious region. So it's right along Along the Mino River which separates uh, Spain from Portugal just below it and the River Tay uh, runs right through it. Um, this is from winemaker Jose Antonio uh, Lopez and apparently Trico is slang in Rios Vicious for the last child uh, that you have that was typically an accident with a bunch of uh, older uh, brothers and sisters. So I thought that was kind of neat. This was um, uh, Jose Antonio Lopez. This is his final winery that he just kind of stumbled into, but apparently this fruit is legit. Uh, Robert Parker gave this uh, 2012 uh, vintage of Trico a 92 point score. So I'm excited to try it in, in that sense too. It is 13.5% alcohol by volume really high acidity there is a little bit of residual sugar there as well um uh what is it 2.8 uh residual sugar there um you're getting like this really nice like uh pale straw yellow uh color here if you've never had an albareño before especially an albareño from rias baixas um one of the things that's really neat is um these are really high acid wines like they're almost riesling like um they've got this really good weight to them but what really separates them out is just this beautiful salinity that you find in it time and time again so i'm expecting to get a lot of that but let's get into this nose first i'm getting these great notes of like uh green apple a little bit of like um baked puff pastry there so almost like a almost like a green apple pie type of thing uh, giving some really nice like river uh, rock minerality and I noticed this you know the last time I was I was drinking you know another sample of um, this some Rio Spicious Albareño uh, on our podcast I was talking about you can almost smell the salinity there is almost like this this feel of like sea air if you've ever um, spend any time uh by the ocean you know it's it's something where it's just like typical the air is just different around there and you really get that in this glass so for my friends uh in santa cruz you guys are i think you're really gonna like that uh part of it but let's get in on this palette here Oh man, this is just everything that I'm really looking for from Albarinos. Everything that I love about Albarinos. There's this beautiful um, weight to this, um, in part 
from that residual sugar. It's not goopy and it's not like overly sweet at all because there's this super like rip roaring like razor blade on your tongue type of acidity that's there. Um, it's not as aggressive as I've seen in some other Albarinos. This is a 2012, um, and here we are in 2016. You know, typically the Albarinos that you're gonna find are, are like from 2014. Um, and so I would imagine with a little bit of age, um, it's not gonna be as bright. And, and don't get me wrong, because this is very much a bright wine, but I think in contrast um, of that razor sharp acidity that you might get in some other place, there is a little bit difference there. And, and quite possibly uh, it's due to that age. I'd love to, to taste um, you know, a, a, a more recent vintage just to see, but I mean, this is the vintage that they have out and, um, the folks at Trico are very much standing behind this and I can see why this is really nice. So again, um, that weight, that acidity, there's, you're getting a little bit of like, uh, like a honeysuckle play, a little bit of like, um, like a like a, a white jasmine uh, type of floral uh, note there on the palate as well. And just that really nice, beautiful uh, acidity. These are wines that, and, and again, like 20 bucks, right? And when you're talking $20 Albarinos, you're talking like top of the line type of stuff, which is what's great about this region. Um, Kara is uh, slaving over some beautiful shrimp scampi uh, tonight. I know if you go to Sizzler, you call it scampi, but if you're from Gilroy, you call it scampi. Um, so she's making some uh, shrimp scampi tonight, and I really think this is going to be a nice vibe, like the the richness of that scampi um, with the brightness, with the um, that razor blade acidity, and with that salinity uh, from this wine. I think this is going to be a really nice pairing um parker gave it a 92 um i i can see why this is very nice i'm gonna uh, some say i'm just more of a hardcore critic than Rob, robert parker i'm going 91 on this but this is a beautiful wine and you should most definitely give this a try or just wines from the rius baixas region in general this is whew, this is fantastic how's everyone doing you're good all right. I got another baby coming in a couple days, so um, maybe that's why I've been a little bit sporadic, and, and uh, hopefully I will check in with you guys real soon. Maybe I'll just bust these out like I did the last time uh, we had a kid. Um, but uh, if I don't uh, put another video out there soon, you got to know I'm thinking about you guys, um, and you can still check me uh, on the We Like Drinking podcast every Friday on iTunes. Because they got me reeled in pretty, uh, pretty hard there. I've got a commitment. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time, everybody. Stay rad.